What are your aspirations for the organization? Well, uh, we, we have a tremendous membership program going on. We've, had, we've signed more members in 1986 than we ever did since 1954. Beautiful. And, and now the momentum is still going on for the last three months. It's been a, a great, uh, great influx. There's over a thousand a month coming in, which is uh, something different for this day and age, especially in the fraternal system. We're going to go into a strong uh, scholarship program. And one, they'll be funding uh, doctorates to, ha to uh, have them write various papers on, on, our, on the community, on, on the Polish input, and et cetera. So uh, uh, even at the present time, we spend over $800,000 a year just on education, where we help our, our members uh, go to various institutions and colleges. And uh, so this is something we're going to continue, even on a larger scale. Recently, weren't there a couple of doctors in from Poland that were help funded and paid for and taken care of by... But this we do through the Polish Mountain Congress. You uh -huh. see, in Poland, uh, the uh, children that have congenital heart disease, mm -hmm. and if you don't do something between, uh, from the age of two to about six or eight, whatever it is, that uh, child is doomed to die. So we've been bringing, the Polish Mountain Congress, which I'm a president of, has been bringing in uh, these children to uh, to United States to be operated in the United States. Now the Polish Man Congress is funding a hospital there with all the equipment and we're training the doctors. So we're having three doctors that one of them already had performed a heart transplant. So they're com completing the, uh, the, uh, the methods of surgery on little children and they're going to go back to Poland and they'll be able to do those operations there and it'll save a lot of money as far as and cost of bringing them in, flights and so forth. And the anxiety, anxiety of the parents will be greatly relieved because they'll be there with the child. Now the Polish American Congress is the umbrella organization right. for all of the Polish organizations right. where they have delegates, etc. and you're the president of that right. as well. See the Polish American Congress is composed of, uh, of the uh, all of Polish fraternals like Polish Roman Catholic Union, the Polish Women's Alliance, the Falcons, and right down the line, mm -hmm. and other veterans organizations. And you were very education. active, and by the way, helping them, weren't you, the veterans? Oh, no question about it. Yeah. We, we got them. A, we passed a bill in Congress where the veterans that have fought in the in the World War II, in in uh, uh, Falay as well as in 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 Italy, and uh, they they have given their lives, so they should receive medical attention. So the bill, Congressman Nunzio was very instrumental in introducing the bill and making it possible that they'd get medical treatment. And, and that's the important thing. Last question. You're head of the fraternal organization, the largest in the country. Has Al Mazeski ever had aspirations for political office? Before I became a president, I had a lot of aspirations. I was in the law business for a long time. And then I ran for several offices as a Republican, and uh, in the city of Chicago, as a Republican, or as a count, county of Cook, there's a lot mm -hmm. of difficulties. Right. Uh, difficulties in a way where people don't understand fully right. the uh, why, one way or another. But so since then? Since then, I never had, because I felt I became ecumenical. I'm neither Republican nor Democrat. I, uh, my job is to do what I think is best for the people I represent. Mm -hmm. And I represent Democrats and Republicans, so we have to, we have, to have a middle-of-the-road policy of what's best. And, uh, and that is why I position always with the President of the United States was in good, uh, good shape, whether they were Democrats or Republicans, because they know our position. We support whoever the President is. And uh, we do not interfere in the political picture in the election of a president of the United States. But we give our allegiance to whoever is elected, and we work with them because we consider it to be the best interest of our country. Mr. President, Jinkui, for Mr. taking Boston. time to visit with it's us. It's my pleasure, and I'm glad you invited me. Oh, I enjoyed this very much. Yeah, and I enjoyed the beef, beef struggle. I'm going to have a little more. You I don't want to have Yes, no, absolutely. But yeah. I have trouble with my wife. Now she'll want me to c always cook, you say. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> you're in this, trouble. This I'll take. This okay, I'll take. all right. Thank nice you. to have you Thank with you. us, sir. It's a pleasure.